All right, folks, just going to take a few minutes here to talk about a new project that uh, I have going on. And what I have here is a Plano, it's like an ammo box, toolbox, tackle box kind of thing that has a rubber seal and it's considered water resistant. It's a sealed box. It has a latch here and some hinges back here and then a handle here. When you take a look at this box, it's about nine and a half inches across, four inches deep, and uh, let me break out the ruler. And it's about seven and a quarter inches tall. And uh, this project, what it is, is that I'm going to build a, uh, it's the second one. This is going to be a, a solar generator. So it's going to have a solar panel connected to it. And it's going to have a uh, 4.5 amp hour um, lead seal battery inside of it. And some various inputs and outputs to the battery. Now a lot of people are like, 4.5, that sucks. Why are you doing that, son? And uh, 4.5 amp hours isn't a lot of amp hours, but this is a small box. It's very, it's very tight fitting in there. And uh, the important thing is, is that it's 12 volts. Now I know that a lot of people say, oh, I can get an anchor battery, I can get a gorilla charger, I can get a whatever type of uh, lithium ion battery that would have higher amp hours, but it can't deliver at 12 volts. And for us, 12 volts is important because what I want to do is I want to be able to run uh, small ham radios or CBs off of this box. Uh, this powered by solar generator, by solar panels. And so 12 volts is important. We're going to put in, if we have space, a 5-volt uh, a converter so we can do USB charging as well. So anyhow, that being said, let's get this thing open. I'll show you some of the parts and some of the innards that uh, we're going to use to get this project done. All right. So when you take a look inside of this uh, this box, you can see it's packed full. So I don't have a whole lot of room or options for things that are outside of this uh, kit as it stands today. But if there's any uh, recommendations or suggestions, I'd be more than happy to hear them. So uh, to go ahead and power this box, what we're going to use is this um, Goal Zero Nomad 7. Somehow I got a little cruddy here, but that's okay. And um, what we have is a 7-watt solar panel made by Goal Zero. It has a variety. It has a U, UP, um, UPS. It has a U, uh, USB out. I think it has a smaller, uh, like uh, one millimeter, two millimeter pin out, and it has a 12 volt out circuit. And we're going to use a 12 volt out of this to go into our battery. Got a couple of different coils of wire because we're going to need some wire to get this done. This is a uh, electronic device. It's a it's a charge controller and a overcharge or undercharge protector and this is a pretty handy device and so what it does is that it regulates through these two ports power that's coming in from your solar panel and what it does is it makes sure that your solar panel doesn't overcharge your battery once your battery gets to 12.4 12 point something volts it cuts off the feed from the panel to your battery and protects you from bad things that can happen when you overcharge a battery then what you want to do is you want to hook your output to your battery here on these two and this as power comes in goes out on these two and then when your battery charges device it comes in on those two and this is the, how you connect your devices up to these to these ports and what's important about this is it protects you from undercharging your battery lead sealed batteries which is the kind of battery that we're using here and lots of other batteries too for that matter um, can become damaged or dangerous when they get undercharged. So you want overcharge and undercharge protection, and we got it here. Unfortunately for me, this <laughs> this device is a heck of a lot bigger than I expected. And if you look, there's a lot of empty space. You can see right through there. Um, I was hoping this would be a little bit more condensed, but it is what it is. It just takes up a lot of real estate in this box and has limited my options for what I want to do with it. Let's take a quick look at this. So this is the... Uh, I guess the heart, maybe the brain, I don't know how you want to say it, of, um, of the project or the kit. And this is an X battery uh, that I got on the internet. It's a non-spillable lead-sealed acid battery. So, I mean, you can mount it any way you want, and you're not going to get juice running out of this battery. Um, as I mentioned, it's 12.4 volts. I'm not sure how well it's going to come across on the screen. And it's 4.5 amp hours, which, again, isn't a lot. I mean, there's a lot more powerful batteries better batteries on the market. Uh, originally I was hoping to be able to get two of these, one for either side of the box and then mount them in parallel, but as you saw there's just not the space to get that done. So this is going to be the battery. 
and again, what we want to do with this box is be able to charge personal devices, whether it's an internet hotspot, cell phone, iPad, Android pad, or ham radio, right, or a small CB, any of that stuff off of this box, but also be able to continually charge and replenish this battery via the solar panel, the Goal Zero Nomad 7. Okay, see what else we got in here. This is just a uh, cheap inline fuse that I picked up. Uh, radio shack and this will go from the positive of the battery into the charge controller and we'll set this uh, I think I'm gonna set it to 5 amps so any draw higher than that fuse will go off and then uh, we're protected from explosions and then uh, here's just some parts that I have in here that I'm planning on using now I'm not gonna have this box be waterproof but I my goal is to have it water resistant and exactly what that means I don't know but uh, I have two of these 12 volt sockets and uh, one of these is going to be the input for when we want to charge the battery off the solar panel the second one is going to be the output when we want to take a 12 volt device and plug it in here and then go ahead and run whatever device it is that we want off of here I have a third one of these and I thought I put it in the box but I didn't that is has a converter to 5 volt USB so if we can find space we're going to go ahead and we're going to mount that if we can't we'll use an insert for here that converts to USB power. And then here's just a simple uh, accessory rocker switch that we're going to put on here. And uh, this rocker switch will turn the entire device on. So without flipping the switch, you won't be able to charge or use energy from the battery. So that's it for inside the box. Pick these up, just a bag of fuses, because I didn't have a spare one. And then we got some parts. So anyhow, that's it. That's the first part or section of this video. I want to thank everybody and uh, see you in the next part.